Look at this camera. Actually, this is not my camera. Mariam doesn't like that I say this is my camera. This is her camera, but I'm going to use it to see if it takes any better pictures. Because I still have my vlogging camera that you see me using right now, like what I'm using right now to talk to you. This is the G7X Canon. It's a great vlogging camera, but I'm not sure how good it is when it comes to taking um, magazine-worthy pictures. So I'm gonna try something else. Uh, yeah. So Ken and I just got back from Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Tuesdays, it's a little late to cook. So we got some tacos. Now these are the authentic tacos, let me tell you. These are not the fast food tacos, these are the authentic made by the Mexicans. This came out of a food truck. Um, you got beef, you got carnitas, you got steak. You got chorizo, it is so yummy. <laughs> I'm feeling extra right now because I'm hungry and I see food. <laughs> Once her bite. She gets going, she gets going. So Mariam has made a smoothie with peanut butter and an apple that she cut and boiled. An apple that she cut and boiled with peanut butter. Is this like a recipe that you saw online or something? Or you made it up? You know, for the first time, Khalid, I'm like looking at you and you actually, Mariam looks like you. Like, I don't know what it is. Oh, look at my son. Where's the MCAT packet you got? It's in my uh, chair upstairs. Okay, see? This is the, um, no, this is the advantage of living not far from school. I mean, I could have just had it sent to my dorm, but I... He had his daddy pick him up so he could have dinner here. But we like him. We like him. So he can come home. <laughs> he can come home. We like him. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> anyway, I'm showing them this William Sonoma bag. Look. I got that metrosexual type of husband. There you go. <laughs> I am far from metrosexual. You're far from metrosexual? So why is it you are drawn to things like this? Because I like classical uh, items. Yeah. No, I'm teasing. No, I appreciate not. I appreciate that we both like similar things. But I got some cute things while y'all shopping for clothes and jewelry and designer bags. I'm shopping for uh, table settings and homeware decor, stuff like that. Fancy William Sonoma. Fancy. <laughs> oh, I'm just being silly. It's not that fancy. Okay, let's show you what Kenton actually cooked. He used the slow cooker. It's interesting. This is the crock pot. He made you, it's split pea, right? Split pea soup. And what else? Split pea soup and carrots and peas and sauce. No peas? Oh, green peas and sausage. So this has been going on all day. You enjoying my chips, Miriam? 
<laughs> Kareem is home. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy <laughs> well, almost. Look at him. Does the place look different? No. Not really. Same. Were you here when the dining room was set up? No, but I watched it. Oh, yeah? So, Kareem's going to show me how to use this drone, which I've had for over a year. Um, Khalid brought this for me. Well, he didn't actually directly buy it for me, he bought it for himself in exchange for using my camera. That's how Khalid works, you know? So anyway, I haven't used it, and so Kareem's been messing around with it and figured how to use it. I guess we got a delivery, so he's gonna bring that in before. All right, so Kareem says, I need to put it on a flat surface first, which is why we're walking across the way. All right, Karimi, now what? So what? I got to find a good, good, perfect spot for it? Okay. So you're not even going to show me where the on is? One button. Oh, just that one, okay. See, it's blinking. Right. So that means it's not, um... Each time we have to calibrate it, okay. So how do you do that? You just have to pick it up. So that means you have to rotate it horizontally. Rotate it horizontally. So um, it turns solid color, the light. Really? Yeah. What does that do right. by rotating it? So it has to like know its environment, kind of. I don't know, in, sim in simple terms. Okay. Uh, all right, see, now it's solid, right? Now, these ones are still blinking. Right. So now you have to do it vertically. Wow. So first horizontally yeah. and then vertically? Yeah. That's some weird voodoo stuff. So apparently the camera, which is right here, um, sure. has to be pointing upwards. And when you're turning it like this. That's okay, the so like it's that. kind of perpendicular to yeah. the camera. And then you've got the controller sure. and then to see what the drone is actually seeing you've got the app on your phone. So this is my cell phone. He's put the app on it. And so now when the drone is flying, All you, need to do, you can see what it's seeing. That's, the, that's, your that's cool. That's the first thing that comes up. Okay. Let's do it. So now Let's it also has to be set up to Wi-Fi on your phone. All right. This year stuff is a little complicated. I don't know. Will I be able to do this on my own? <laughs> oh, it even has a piece that pulls out to put your cell phone on there. I see. I see. I had to take my case off for it to fit into the holder properly. So now there it fits. All right, so now everything's so all that's, right. Okay. So then you press this button for it to start. Ooh, Lord, it's loud. Oh my God, that's so cool. That's so cool. It better not come chop my head off. I got backup. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm such a kid. Ooh. Okay, so apparently the SD card is in the drone, so that's where it's recording, even though you can also see it on my cell phone. Got it over there, and now I'm freaking out. I had to move it away from the power lines. That's scary. <laughs> I am not very good at this. I just tried. Oh, Lord.
go see how far we can go. Apparently the battery has a very short half-life. You have to like charge it literally after 15 minutes, which sounds like a pain, but ooh. That was definitely interesting. Definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's gonna need a lot of practice. <laughs> Daddy's home, just in time to see what mischief we're up to. <laughs> I don't know, my God, I tried you first. You, you know? saw me? She saw you first, because I'm... <laughs> what are you up to? I can see you, you were sitting over there. Uh, we didn't go over there, did we? We did. We went out into the field. No, no, the cricket field. Okay. No, the cricket field. Yeah, I can. So take it out. Just pinch the uh, top and bottom. It'll come out. That's oh, Lord. That's a big battery. Yeah, that's a big battery. That's how much I'm And then that charges for three hours? Wow, that's yeah, crazy. So you only get like 15 minutes of footage and you have to charge the battery for three hours. Yeah, it's a lithium once I, battery. Yeah, once I figure yeah. this out, I got to get a better grade. The controller also has a battery that needs to be charged occasionally. So, and how long does this one last? Um, less than an hour. Less than an hour. But Where's the battery? One. Take it out. Let I me see. You can't take the battery out of it. Oh, so how do you charge it? You just, um, one of these. Okay, do we have Plugs one? Right here. It comes with this. This is what it came with. Got and something. the camera itself has the little tiny SD card. Where does that go? In here. Alright, go ahead, put it back. Let's I need to take it out. Oh, you just press it out. Just press it. Okay. Um, cold weather season after Christmas. But still in January. Okay, so what did we make? Some boring broccoli, steamed broccoli, but really the main dish is this big giant pot of soup. So this soup is inspired not just by winter, but by the fact that Kareem um, had his braces tightened and he, he's having a hard time chewing. So I thought I would make something nutritious. It's got uh, my favorite butternut squash, potatoes, overcooked potatoes and butternut squash and cream and a lot of spice. And oh, and I didn't mention it has shredded chicken in there. I put chicken. Some coarsely shredded cheese and some French's onions. Now this is a hearty meal. We just got back from the grocery store. So I am about to cook some din din. Oh, okay. So come with me into the kitchen. So hubby's here helping me. Let me show you what he's helping me with. We're washing mushrooms. So there's the cute little mushrooms floating. He's cut them up. <laughs> and this is going to be a meatless, meatless Saturday. <laughs> meatless Saturday, because we can't eat meat every day. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> But I'm going to give him the illusion it's meat. So I told him that the mushrooms could taste like meat. All you got to do is add seasoning and maybe some beef flavored broth. And this is organic. Um, and even if you didn't have this, if you just add seasoning, in my opinion, and onions, it gives you the illusion of meat. But he disagrees. So we'll see. We'll see, huh, hon? So he also washed some spinach for me. So this is spinach that's a few days old. I should have cooked this a while back, but. Oh, see, look at my little keep it simple note. You see, I am not joking. Food to avoid. Fiber, <laughs> fruit, vegetables. Reduce your water intake. No, 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 no. It's not food to avoid. Fiber, we want to get more fiber, more fruit, more vegetables. Oh, I thought this is what we're taking off. No, that's what we're trying to eat more of. Oh. We're going to avoid any fake processed food. That's the big one. 
I don't want any bread, no soda, no cereal, which is loaded with sugar, mm. no rice, which is really hard for you. All right, well, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is why it's a challenge for me. Because <laughs> they all get upset if I don't cook rice. Is that ready? healthy they tend to be a little bit more expensive than the green peppers at least here in the US supermarket and but they're giant and again like the yellow ones they are loaded with vitamin C we're going to put a little bit of oil in the pan so I can saute the onions and the mushrooms Mushrooms. Gonna add some, this is garlic powder. Pretty, pretty turmeric. Turmeric is very good for you, you know that? Very good for you. And then I also like a little bit of paprika. So even though we're doing some healthy veggies, don't be afraid of spice. Don't be afraid of spice. Did I put some adobo on there? I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. All right, now we get to mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up. You can smell it with the onions. Onions. <laughs> so in our Fridge of condiments. Let's get our soy sauce. Not too much, just enough to get some flavor. I added the little bits of tomato that I had, which was optional. Now I'm going to add the beef broth. Could be chicken broth if you prefer. Not too much, about half a cup. Let's add our cabbage. I got the purple cabbage or red cabbage. Actually, it's purple, isn't it? And so you needed a deep enough but wide enough pot. Yeah, by the time I finish cutting up this plantain, that cabbage and the vegetables we put on like five minutes ago is done. So you don't have to overdo your veggies. Oh, this plantain looked like it was ripe, but you can see it's actually kind of firm. So this plantain is not the soft one, at least not yet, but it's okay. You can still fry it. And this is an old frying pan, so she's not the prettiest pan, <laughs> but she works. We all have one of those pans in our kitchen, don't we, that looks real beat up, but we keep using it because we like the shape or we like the function. I'm not sure if that plantain I did was enough, so I'm getting another one. Let's see, is this one riper? You gotta kinda press it. I'm hoping this one is more ripe. Time to turn over the plantain. Let's see how this one is doing. I believe I'm probably overcooking this cabbage. Let's see. I think that looks good. Keep in mind the green ones, um, they're a little firmer than the sweet. While I'm finishing up the plant and I realized I did not do the spinach. Spinach is really good for you because also it gives you a lot of fiber but also um, has a lot of iron in it. And you can eat the stalks. If the stalks are soft, like these ones are quite soft, you don't have to throw them out. You can use them if you cut them really fine. 
So here's a trick, use your smaller plates. So to make sure that Kenton feels like he's getting a lot, I'm gonna use the smaller plates. <laughs> we are ready. We have our plantain. We have our veggies, our sauteed vegetables. Yum. And over here I have the greens. I just added a little bit of butter to it. So, of course, there is a little bit of rice here. Maria made earlier, it's hot in her little mini rice cooker. So I'm sure her father and her will have some, but I will not have any. Just for a little extraness, we're gonna put some of this on there. These are the crispy fried onions. Rice shaming. <laughs> That's a new thing now, rice shaming. There's no such thing as rice shaming. That's what we're creating here. All right, let's see. See, it's a tiny bit of rice. That That's good. Where's the meat? There's no meat. We already talked about that. There's no we, meat. We didn't have a discussion. Because <laughs> the more veggies you eat, the less rice you feel like you need to eat. Yeah, That's right. Boo, stop making that face. Trying to be healthy more frequently. You make me look like I only give you fattening food all the time. No, you don't. I give it to myself. <laughs> My dinner is served. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy these family videos filled with cooking and health tips and if you do i would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button that really helps the channel and shares it with other people thank you and see you soon okay so this is mariam's egg baby yes um i guess she's a senior Before now tell me about the class okay well um, what's the class psychology you're doing a development unit uh -huh. and so for three weeks um i chose this as my project a lot of kids did yeah. take care of this egg for three weeks and you have to bring it to school every day for attendance and if we it breaks we lose points how do they know it's the same egg and you didn't um it's numbered she gave us the eggs oh she really had, yeah it's numbered and she has it recorded yeah but that egg doesn't cry that egg doesn't poop that egg doesn't it's need to be fed in a couple of days ew so it's raw we weren't so allowed, we're not allowed to hard boil it yeah, but I could have adopted a child. You don't want me to adopt a child so you could have a little brother or a little sister. Adopt a child. I can? It's, it's not wise for you to adopt a child. Oops, I managed to take care of you. See these young people? Yeah, she yeah, forgets. I, I managed to take care of you and two other kids. Hmm.